everyone's having a great day, great week. Whenever y'all are watching this shit up in through her, okay? And y'all already know, as you can tell by the title, I'm gonna come in and do a quick rapid review on something brand spanking new that just came out in the drug store, okay? And y'all know if you follow me on my vlog channel, which is the Socialite Life TV, I will leave that right over here, and the link for that is down below. Check it out if you wanna check out daily vlogs from your girl and your boy and our dogs and our family and friends and whatnot. But uh, a lot of you guys saw my vlogs the last couple of days and was able to see this particular product on my lips, and y'all absolutely love it. And I want to make sure to do a review showcasing some of the colors from this particular product. And that product would be, bam, okay, the Maybelline by Color Sensational. Look, there's a lot. By Color Sensational, okay. And it's the Creamy Matte Lippies that just recently came out. So this just came out in the style not too long ago. And y'all know they've been getting a little hype on the YT. And so your girl had to go ahead and check them out, okay. So this is what the container looks like. You guys know there are several uh, color sensational lippies that have come out. There was the Buffs collection and there's some Vivids. There's some beautiful colors in this collection. And the great thing about this particular collection is that it features all matte shades, okay? So there are nine shades total in this particular collection. I got these from Target. Of course, y'all know not all the colors that were available were all colors for my beautifully brown skin tone. So I only picked up faux, okay? And I just basically just grabbed a couple couple of them. They weren't ridiculously expensive, which is what I love. They were $5.49 at my Target. So definitely make sure to check out Target and I'm sure they're available at other places as well. But I always look to Target specifically for the Color Sensational line because they have a tendency to go there first before they see, see them anyplace else. And y'all know CVS and those types of styles are usually a little bit more expensive when it comes to the Maybelline line. For some unknown reason, that's at least what I found out here. Okay. The first color that I want to showcase today is the color 660. This is a touch of spice, and that is what you see right here on my lips. This is the color that a lot of you guys were raving about on my vlog channel when I showed it to y'all. Okay. Bam. Okay. And by the way, if my uh, foundation looks a little different than what you're accustomed to, please make sure to check out the video that just came out yesterday on this channel because I am uh, featuring a first impression on a foundation you guys have been wanting me to do a first impression on for the longest time. It's very, very highly requested. Okay. So I will link that down below as well, or you can check it out right over here. Y'all know I always do that. Okay. So check it out over there and you'll see what foundation I'm rocking today okay and let you guys know my thoughts on said foundation okay this color as you guys can see is the beautiful creamy matte color that I have on my lips okay and the color itself looks just like this okay now you guys already know I absolutely love me some pinky nudes okay so this was the shade that automatically by default I gravitated towards and it is an absolutely beautiful color as you guys can see it's just a beautiful pinkier color it's more of a pink color than it is a nude but you know as you guys can see it's just a very nice neutral shade okay I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it on my arm here on my hand so y'all can see it right here so you can see the color in its glory okay it's just drop dead freaking gorgeous okay so Here's the deal with these creamy matte shades. The cool thing that I really, really have enjoyed about these matte shades is number one, they are not drying on the lips whatsoever. ever. Like y'all already are familiar with the mattes from MAC. I like to compare that to, to this, okay? And the reason for that is because the mattes that have come out, like Ruby Woos and those types of things, have a tendency to be a little bit drying. Um, a little bit drying, they'd be a lot drying, okay? These are completely different. When they say creamy matte, that's exactly what they mean, okay? Because it is a just a soft, very moist, moisturizing matte, which is something that I'm not accustomed to with my matte shades, okay? So the one thing I can tell you is very movable, and not movable in uh, as a disadvantage. It's just movable to the sense of you not feeling like your lips are dry. You, When you want to take it off, you're not going to have to really feel like you have to just, just use an exfoliator to take this stuff, this stuff off your lips. You know what I'm saying? It's very nice and moist. Your lips feel moist. Uh, if you have cracked lips, it won't feel like it's just settling in the cracked lips like a Ruby Woo would. Y'all know, if you rock any kind of matte shade like a Ruby Woo that's really, really dry, even though it's a drop dead gorgeous color and it's one of my favorite colors in the entire world, okay? If you got some crusty dusties, okay? Some crustacean nations on your lips, you can't rock that shit. You better exfoliate your lips before you put it on there because it's just gonna make it look even worse. The next shade I'm gonna show y'all, and I will also show you this color on my lips as well. This is 680, and this is Mesmerizing Magenta. All right. And it's a beautiful, beautiful fuchsia color. And y'all know I love me some matte shades. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it 
right here so y'all can see the color and then I'm gonna show that to you on my lips. I would've normally put that shit on first, but y'all know we are gonna go ahead and turn the camera off and then go ahead and put that shit on my lips. I'll be back. Boom, okay. Here is the color on my lips. Beautiful, beautiful, bright, fuchsia color okay y'all know I love me some fuchsias okay now the one thing I can tell you right off the top with these creamy matte lip shades just because they're not as drying they don't have the same staying power as Ruby Woo or something that matte would have okay so I'm gonna show you something real quick the lippy that I had on just a little bit ago y'all know I love me some coffee and you know early in the day and shit and so this is my cup of coffee from earlier, wearing that shade that I showed you guys first, okay? So it does transfer, and that's after me having taken just a couple sips of my coffee. So I do wanna let you guys know that if you wanna mattify it even more, you can use just a good translucent powder, just dust it over your lips. It'll mattify it even more, but the one, I guess, detriment to the fact that it's not as, as mattifying as a Ruby Woo is that you will have to probably reapply it. It doesn't take your lipstick completely off, but you will probably feel the need to reapply it, you know, if you eat or if you have a drink or something like that but for me I almost feel like the moisturizing aspect of it is totally worth it and it's still five dollars and 49 cents so you ain't spending the same amount of money that you would spend on a matte lip shade from Mac this is the color it's just beautiful I love it okay now I'm gonna go ahead and show you the next shade bitch bye y'all see this beautiful ass color right here okay take a look it's just oh this color is drop dead fucking amazingly gorgeous okay this color is 690 and this is siren in scarlet okay so this is the shade right here and as you guys can see it's a nice orange yellow based red it's just drop dead freaking gorgeous hitting shit damn what the fuck back to what i'm doing it's just a beautiful 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 red tone bitch can't tell me shit. Okay. Bam! This color that I'm rocking right now is 695, and this is divine wine, okay? So it's just a beautiful, more burgundy wine color on my lips. Those are the four lippies that I got. Like I said, there are nine colors total, and I just didn't get all the damn shades, but you got a nice array of colors for all kinds of different skin tones, which is nice. It's also five, four to nine, okay? So they're not ridiculously expensive. And all in all, from having tried this out and worn them for a couple of days, I absolutely love these. It is definitely worth the money. And of course, it's not overly priced. It keeps your lips moisturized. The only thing I could tell you, don't expect it to be like a Ruby Woo that's gonna last for hours upon hours upon hours. If you have a drink or you eat something, it is going to transfer for show, okay? And you have to reapply it a little bit, but it does last long enough where if you took a sip of a drink, it's not gonna be all gone, okay? And like I said, I mean, you can literally, you know, with Ruby Woo, you can't rub your lips together, like, you know, not comfortably, right? It doesn't do that. You can literally rub your lips together. It still continues throughout the next few hours to continue to stay nice and moisturizing. I love these. Definitely worth the money. Let me know which color you guys like best and let me know what other products, makeup wise, you guys want me to review for rapid reviews, battle of the brands, or first impressions. Thumbs up this video if you love seeing these videos from your girl. And you already know what to do. As always, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash socialize Sandy. Hit me up on my Facebook fan page and my Pinterest page. Those links are down below. Hit me up on my blog, thesocialitelife.blogspot.com and hit me up on Instagram at Socialite Sandy. And you already know I love y'all and I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye. With my first impressions video on a very highly requested foundation, a lot of you guys have been asking me to try out this particular product line and it would be this right up and through here. Bam! Cover FX, okay? Now